What's up everybody? I'm Chris Dickerson and we're out here at Goat Hill Park in California to do a quick in the bag and see what kind of disc I'm going to be throwing this year. First we'll start off with the putting putters. I've got a couple CT Blend Challenger OS's. I like them because they have a dependable finish with a good amount of glide. As far as throwing putters, I've got a few. We'll start with the zones. I have an ESP zone, uh, mostly sidearm approaches for both of these. The ESP is a little more overstable than the titanium zone. Uh, this one's a little more workable. It can hold straighter lines. Uh, next up, my favorite throwing putters. These are Z Plastic uh, Challenger OS's just lots of glide, dependable finish on the end. Next, I have two Challenger SS's, one in ESP plastic and one in putter line. This one, whatever line you put it on, uh, it'll hold that line. It'll try and stand up a little bit if you throw it hard enough. This one though is predominantly a straight to turnover disc. Next up, mid ranges. I have a wasp in here now, just trying to uh, try it out, see how overstable it is. It's a Z wasp. I have three buzzes. My uh, first ESP robot chicken buzz without the stamp on it. This seems to be my most overstable buzz right now, and it's just, it's a really good flyer. Uh, lastly, couple of Z buzzes. They're great for hyzer flip to straight shots. Um, if I throw them hard enough, I can hyzer flip, get a little bit of turn out of them. And both of them kind of fly similar. As far as fairways, I have two Captain's Raptors in, uh, I believe it's Crystal Z plastic. They're very overstable for backhands. They're great for sidearm flex shots. I have a Big Z Onyx. Uh, the Big Z seems to be a little bit more overstable, so it's gonna have a lot of glide, but it's gonna have that dependable finish at the end to the left for me. And uh, two Undertakers, a Big Z, and just a Sparkle Missy Gannon uh, Tour Series from last year. The Big Z, I can get it to hold a little bit straighter of a line. It hasn't beat in too much yet. Uh, the Missy Gannon, Sparkle Z, I can get it to hyzer flip and hold over just a little bit. And lastly, I have my distance drivers. All of these are forces, just uh, different plastics. This is an ESP force. It's my most overstable if it's really windy and I need something to go left, this is what I'm gonna throw. This is probably my favorite force at the moment. Um, it's pretty overstable. I can get a little bit more distance out of it than the other two, but I think as it beats in, I'm gonna use it quite a bit more than the rest. I have two ESP uh, Big B forces. These are very similar to the purple one. I'm just kind of working them all in right now. And I think as these beat in, they'll go really far with some overstability. I use this Z-Force predominantly for sidearms or forehands. I can get some good distance out of it if I put some Anheuser on it, but it's overstable and it has a dependable finish to the right at the end. Lastly, these are my straighter to understable forces. This is a good hyzer flip to straight. Little bit of finish. If I throw it hard enough, I can get it to hold over to the right depending on the wind. And then lastly, this is basically just my turnover distance driver at the moment. Uh, if I put enough hyzer on it, I can get it to go straight, but for the most part, it's gonna finish to the right. So those are the discs I'm gonna be throwing in my bag at the beginning of the year. Obviously, some things are gonna change in and out. Um, so be on the lookout for my Tour Series Buzz coming out pretty soon. 
and uh, thank you all for watching.